This is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 22nd of February 2019 and it's live from the Malcolm Uphill in Caerphilly. Yeah, the big thing about the last week and that's from Sunday onwards when I was in Hereford is Storm Dennis and the floods and the devastation that it left behind. I think it's fair to say that um, Hereford, well, there wasn't a lot of rain. However, uh, rivers which form in mountains which get very wet. So later on in the week, Hereford got flooded and places like Worcester and Worcestershire as well. So I left when it got light, probably about half past seven and going cross country towards the A449 there were a number of times when the road was completely flooded however I was following someone and they got through and I followed the example of them and it was low speed low gear high engine revs and stay on the crown of the road because that's likely to be a little bit higher Going through Monmouth, the Y had already burst its banks and the other side of Monmouth, you don't want to come off the road because you're going into the water. So, um, Lower Macken was a bit wet, Macken was a bit wet and when I got to Bedworth, uh, the roads were closed and I had to go round the back roads. Um, there was a lot of flooding at Bedworth Bridge. And then I went online and I saw Pontypri Taff Street became the Taff River uh, Tree Forest. Oh, it's horrible to be perfectly honest. There was a landslip in the Ronda. Um, not really good. And my favourite brewery on the Tree Forest Industrial Estate, Bragdy Tutlol. Well, there was a video of the security cameras and the taff came up over the banks and Bragdy Tutlol is just by the river and came in. There's currently a crowd funder um, to help them out uh, at Tutlol, T-W-T-L-O-L dot com. Um, it was originally thought to be about £10,000 worth of damage. Yes, it was insured, but they're slow um, and they might not get it all back. Um, Phil now thinks we're looking at probably about £30,000 worth of damage. And he's got a secret um, bar in the pick and shovel in Tree Forest. So if you're around there, pop in and have one of his fantastic ales. So, um, what else? Um, work was okay, because it's high up on the hill. Um, Prince Charles was there yesterday, that was Friday. Um, well, why not? I know he gets slagged off a lot, but, um, you know, uh, it's been hit hard. So, um, looking back on the first two months of the year, Beano wise, um, there's been Bristol. And I think the standout from there has been the Bristol Beer Factory and the darkness and getting back and such like and the lack of Chicken Wednesday in the area. And app discovery. And not only app discovery but cross-platform apps. And I think the two that stand out for me is When Did I on iOS and Raindrop.io which I picked up on a iPad podcast. Really, really good. What else have I done? More camping stoves. <laughs> yeah, um, and more gas cylinders. Only little tiny ones. But I'm looking forward to summer already. However, come next week, it's the end of February, and the end of February usually means snow. I'm hoping we can get away uh, without it. We did have some snow in November um, and in the week in mid and north Wales there was also snow there. But uh, February, to be perfectly honest, you're not going to be missed. I'm not going to miss you at all. Um, Weather-wise, that is. So, um, a pint of Jemima's Pitchfork from the Glamorgan Brewery and uh, that's the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 22nd of February 2020. A rather damp and horrible week. Anyway, 
Bye bye.